Hey, my young and the restless fans. Yes, we are back at the beginning of a new week. We have a new episode to talk about, so let's get to it. First, Ashley and Tucker make announcement to Abby and Devon. We also see Diane is resigning from Jabot, and Phyllis is devastated when Carson goes missing. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap. When we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for July 24th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. Oh, let's start out over at Jabot and guess who's back? Jack is back from New York. So yeah, we got to get this whole storyline on the road. Now, of course, Jack said he found out that Ashley and Tucker were planning on taking the patents and the legal team told Jack that there were loopholes in the original merger that would allow this as long as she had just cause. Now, Jack said that Ashley is using Diane's past to make her case. Billy is still thinking thinking it's a good idea for Diane to resign to get Ashley off their backs. Jack didn't take too kindly to that idea and said Diane would do no such a thing and he's not backing down. I'm telling you, it looked like they're trying to bring the old Jack back from the 1980s. So over at the GCAC, we see Phyllis is asking Heather if she gotten Christine to drop those charges. I mean, why the heck would Christine drop the charges, Phyllis? I mean, you unalived a man and framed another other lady for your murder. Now, Heather had to tell her that, well, she had no luck with that. And Phyllis thinks Christine is obsessed with her. Uh, you should know the signs just like you were obsessed with Diane. Now, Phyllis is talking about how she has a witness in Carson already lying for all we know. Carson might not have even been in town when she unalived Jeremy Stark. They should be doing is investigating him to find out where his location was during that time period. Now, Heather told her how Christine wants to go to trial. Phyllis, of course, is afraid of that. I mean, she's afraid Carson might change his mind. Well, don't do the crime if you don't want to do the time. Now, she wants him in protective custody now, and Heather is trying to get her to open up to her. She let her know all about Tucker having her under his thumb and that he was the one that found Carson. And Heather wanted to know uh, how long Tucker has been blackmailing you and if Carson is truly, truly a real witness. Phyllis, of course, lied through her teeth like she always does and say, yeah, he, he really was a witness. She then explains to Heather that Tucker wants her to go after Diane, but she doesn't want to. Tucker, I'm telling you, after her spilling the beans, you are probably into some deep dirt. Billy overhears the conversation between Phyllis and Heather, and he asks Heather if Phyllis really had a chance of beating these charges. Phyllis told him that she had an eyewitness, and guess who's hiding behind the potted plant? Tucker. Yeah, he's over there trying to play I Spy Private Eye. I don't know who was worse, him or Liam over at the trial on the Bold and the Beautiful. Back at the table after Tucker followed Heather out, Phyllis told Billy that she wished folks would just cut us some slack like they do other people. Girl, they have been cutting you some slack for years. I mean, you should have been in jail now with a number on your back. Now, she told Billy she would try to turn her life around and become the person her family can love and respect. I'm hoping she have that opportunity. They need to redeem her character at this point because they really have dug her into a deep hole. Billy took off. Heather comes back to tell Phyllis that guess what? Carson has disappeared and Phyllis' face dropped. So now over at the Chancellor Estate, we see Tucker and Ashley arrive as they meet up with Devon and Abby, and they got a big surprise for them, especially Ashley having that conversation with Abby that, you know what? Yep, we're getting married, and we're about to move our lives forward. And Devon and Abby was like, uh, uh, okay. And then they had separate sidebar conversations. Abby wants to make sure that this is what Ashley really wants. Ashley says that she's really happy. It has nothing to do with Jack. Sure it doesn't, Ashley. And at the same time, Tucker seemed legitimately happy when it comes to his conversation with Devon. But then we see Abby decide to make an offer to accept their proposals 
to each other as long as she can facilitate the wedding and they decide to have a big old toast. However, after Ashley and Tucker leaves, they have conversations with each other about the entire situation. It seems that they still have a little skepticism to me with regards to this, but I think at the end of the day, they're just hoping that there's nothing nefarious is going on and that they are actually truly happy. And then they started talking about marriage themselves. I'm wondering if they're moving these two to an actual marriage. Over at the Avid Estate, we see Jack and Diane has made it home. They're drinking and they're smooching. Jack told her that he didn't want to talk about Ashley right now, but does want to talk about Phyllis. They were discussing how Carson is backing up her story. Yep, two liars coming together. Now, Jack finds the story just a little bit sketchy, and so does Diane. Talks turn to Kyle and Summer, and Jack said that he doesn't see a way out for them. Yep, that whole situation is cooked. As soon as we thought we had a little bit of peace, Ashley comes home and asks Jack, how was New York? Can't she just come home and just go to her room and wait for Tucker? I mean... Huh. Anyway, Jack told her he assumed she knows. Now, Ashley and Jack are going back and forth, and Diane just couldn't take it anymore and made an announcement that she is resigning from Jabot. Diane asked if Ashley would back off now. Jack said, it's fine, it's fine. Ashley can take her part of the company, and of course, Diane was like, no. Ashley was disgusted. Jack said that he was going to focus on the woman he loves and do more for her, and I guess that's sweet in so many words. Tucker came home. I guess he got his head out of the leaves at the GCAC asking what's up. Ashley told him that Jack was caving and Diane insisted, you know what? I'm out. Diane, I actually think that was a good move on your part because now it will actually show what Ashley's true motives are. Was it all about you or was it actually about keeping this war going between her brother Jack? Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Monday, July 24th, 2023. Stay tuned for the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye!